Hello everyone, today in the series of Doplex Scale interviews, we have with us a very special guest, Dr. S. V. Madhu, who is a Director Professor and Head of Department of Endocrinology, Centre for Diabetes, Endocrinology and Metabolism at the University College of Medical Sciences and GTB Hospital in Delhi. He is also the President of Endocrine Society of India. Thank you so much, Doctor, for the interview. So let's begin with the first question. What are the various risk factors that are associated with shift work? Shift work is a recent concept. In the, over the last 5 to 10 years, uh, interest is focused on the association of shift work and metabolic syndrome. Mm. Uh, the major factors that are associated apart from the intrinsic circadian rhythm as we call it, because many of the hormonal and metabolic parameters are governed by you know, the internal biological clocks. And therefore, and shift work is an exemplification of the same phenomenon. It's a natural paradigm where the shift workers are, you know, kind of uh, uh, undergo an alteration of these intrinsic biological rhythms. But in association with the alteration of rhythm also is the fact that there's certain associated factors like, you know, physical inactivity. For example, if you were in night shifts, your physical activity will be reduced, you'll be yeah. awake and probably you'll start eating and your eating habits will change. And all these factors put together along with their interactions with the intrinsic clock and its disruption uh, leads to metabolic disease, including diabetes. Yeah. Um, so, Doctor, can you please elaborate on shift work associated metabolic and genetic dysregulation among Indians? This is a phenomenon which is not very well researched among Indians. And uh, in fact, our center is among the first to be working on the genetic dysregulation uh, in Indians, and uh, which is what uh, I've been presenting here. Uh, we've looked at the genes that get expressed in various tissues, uh, which are intrinsically involved with various metabolic processes particularly the carbohydrate metabolism, which uh, ultimately, if it's disregulated, results in, you know, obesity, metabolic syndrome, and diabetes. And um, the prevalence of this condition among Indians, again, is to be established. What is known from studies done abroad and some of the uh, studies in India is that there is a clear association between the shift work and metabolic syndrome, and that the, the, the longer the duration of the night shifts, the greater is the association and prevalence of obesity and metabolic syndrome. Uh, in terms of the genes, yeah. altered genes can cause uh, metabolic syndrome and diabetes, but what is more important is their altered expression of these genes, which can be controlled by not only the, the, the fact of exposure to day and light, uh, which is uh, intrinsic to shift work, but also to various uh, nutrient and physical activity measures which tend to interact with this basic process. All right. Uh, so, Doctor, what is the relationship between the current and former shift work and metabolic syndrome? Yeah, um, even current shift work actually is an extension of the former shift work. If somebody has been uh, having a long period of shift work, that itself changes his genetic pattern, as I've just said. So, these patients would express different kinds of genes and their metabolic milieu inside the body would change and therefore they will be in any case prone to become more obese. But once you have a current shift work, that means the shift work is continuing into the present, these same factors get exemplified and, and magnified and you have you know severe derangements of lipids and um, uh, glucose which are apparent on investigation. Alright, um, so the ins what is the incidence of the syndrome among night shift workers and how, are, how can we manage this? Uh, you mean night shift health workers? Health workers, yes. Again, the prevalence I would not be able to tell you exactly, but yes, we've been finding um, in several studies that you know metabolic syndrome and diabetes is particularly um, highly seen among the nursing professionals and other uh, categories of shift, shift care health workers, especially those who have been on night shift duties, the rotational as we call it, and um, um, so it's a it's a evolving field. And it, it's uh, definitely known that uh, the prevalence of diabetes is more in these groups and we need more investigations and we are working in that area, particularly uh, the genetic regulation of this phenomenon. All right. Uh, so, Doctor, lastly, I would like to know how has been your experience in uh, the RSSDI conference this year? 
the RSSJ conference this year has been uh, excellent and my experience has been very pleasant and uh, we have learned quite a bit from the scientific program which has been well crafted and overall uh, it's a feel good uh, factor in the conference. All right, okay. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you. You're welcome.